Hello, my name is Joanne James and welcome to another tutorial from The Crafty Owl. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely little um, uh, concertina card using um, the scallop tag top punch for the closure. Um, I saw a lovely one of these on Julie Kettlewell's blog and thought I just had to recreate. So uh, I actually made this into a Mother's Day card, but you could just as easily use it for um, a special birthday card. So you make it out of one sheet of 12 by 12 uh, designer series paper, and I'll show you in just a moment how we do that. But if we look at our card, so this is this is what it looks like closed. Um, well, obviously with the ribbon closure and it, the great thing about this project is it's one of those where you actually get to see both sides of your designer series paper which is nice for those of us that are always in a quandary about which we should use so when you remove the ribbon and you open it up this is what you get so I can't even fit the whole thing in shot here so we start with a little happy and then it goes across mother's day and then there's um, a piece on the end that's blank for you to write your message so equally you could do happy birthday um, it will fit and uh, still with space to uh, to write your message so I'm just going to show you how the basics of how to recreate this card and as I said you need one sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper today I'm going to use this set with the little blue flowers on from um, the sweet sorbet celebration set we've only a few more days left of celebration um, but uh, so if you want it you need to grab it quick um, obviously bear in mind if there's a pattern on the other side of your page so this one's got stripes you need to just think about how you want to cut your paper um, so I actually would like my stripes to be seen that way so I'm going to cut my paper this way so the first thing you need to do is take your sheet of 12 by 12 and cut it into three four inch wide strips. So basically put the paper into your trimmer um, and measuring up to the four inch line, simply place it in your trimmer and cut piece one. And then again, the next piece, piece two. So you end up with three equally sized pieces that each measure four inches by 12 inches. Now I'm going to do this project in inches as opposed to metric simply because it's a lot easier, uh, but it wouldn't be that tricky to convert to metric if you so wished. So the next thing that you need to do is take these pieces and um, starting from one end, you need to score at every two and a half inches. So we'll just use our trimmer and we just put it in like that and we're going to mark at every two and a half so that's two and a half five if we extend our arm here we can just keep going seven and a half and ten inches and then you'll have um, another piece left here on the end now for one of those, you can actually remove that section because you don't need it. So in actual fact, we'll remove that one here just so that that's done. And then for the other two pieces, again, we need to just score at every two and a half inches. So now we can set our trimmer to one side. So we're left with this piece where we actually cut away the excess and then two pieces um, where obviously we've scored every two and a half inches and then we've got this slightly smaller piece on the end and this is the piece that we're going to um, cut with our tag topper punch. And as you can see, it's wider than the punch itself. So as in one of my previous videos, uh, which was for a, um, a larger size treat holder or a tea bag holder, in actual fact, was, was what, I, um, what I used mine for. You literally just kind of slide it over the grooves. Can you see, you slide it over the grooves. You just um, do it so that it's equally distant on both sides. Um, if you're in any doubt, you can always look at it from the back make sure it goes right to the back of the plate and then punch and then gently slide out 
and then you just need to do the same with the second of the longer pieces so again making sure that you're cutting into um, almost that kind of that very end piece because it's not quite as wide as the other two there you go and then you remove that excess and then as you can see here you're left with these pieces here and you just need to take your paper snips and just trim those away or in fact you know we could actually bring our trimmer back in which would be a much more sensible idea um, to make sure that we get a nice clean line so obviously I've done that one just line it up there you go and it will stop and then just take our second one and do exactly the same so just you can just just line it up here make sure that the groove of your trimmer is where these pieces are sitting and then as you pull down you'll feel it kind of go into the notch like so and do the same there and there you go so now we really can set our trimmer to one side and so we have our three sections so one of those obviously is going to be kind of the left side one the other side and then this smaller piece is going to fit in the middle and all we need to do is stick them together so that they're in a nice big concertina um, strip so we're just going to overlap these can you see it's quite tricky when you've got busy busy paper but we're just going to overlap them in fact it might be easier if we just um, concertina it before we start so so we're going to fold this back on itself because if you look at my completed one here um, that's going to be the sort of the back wrap and this is going to be the pattern that I want for the inside so we're just going to mountain valley fold that all the way along yeah in a in a concertina like so and then the next we're going to take the next piece which is the smaller piece and do exactly the same so again mountain valley mountain because that's going to hook on there like that and then this one is going to go valley mountain valley mountain because then that one's going to hook over there like so. So you just need to stick those together. And then once they're stuck together, you will be left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten panels. So in order to then decorate your panels, you will need, so if we again look at my original card, I actually used um, a base can panel in um, a solid color cardstock, and then I overlaid a white piece on top of that. So for this particular card, I'm actually using black for my mat, and then I'll put some white on top, um, which I know I don't usually use black in this circumstance, but I think it looks really great against uh, the, the sort of the pool party blue um, of this and the important dimensions for these pieces um, so the mat sizes the base mat which is the coloured section measures two inches by three and a half inches and then the white mat that goes on top measures one and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches so basically we're going down by a quarter of an inch each time and essentially we're just going to mat those like so onto our card and we're going to do that for all 10 sections and really that's all that you need to know I'm actually not going to kind of construct this on the video you can decorate them however you like so in this one obviously this happy I took from the uh, celebration see you later set it's actually um, part of this stamp so it's part of that stamp there you make me happy when skies are grey there are lots of other um, stamps you could take a happy from a happy birthday stamp and use that and um, I cut my letters using the typeset alphabet but again any um, uh, any alphabet stamp uh, that you own uh, morning post or something like that would work perfectly well um, and then at the very end I use the um, 
uh, what ABC one two three um, sketch alphabet for my for my numbers, which I uh, for my letters rather, which I then punched out with a three and a quarter inch circle punch, and I just matted those on some small banners that I cut using the celebration banner punch. Um, and on this card obviously I, I used uh, Melon Mambo because it coordinated with my Gingham Garden designer paper and then you can just decorate as you like with flowers or whatever pattern so again here I used the Petite Petals stamp and punch and I used some flowers from the little itty bitty uh, punch set and I have all those ready to go here for this card so again you can see I've got all my various different um, colours of flower um, I've also stamped some of them in green um, which I will then just cut apart to make some leaves so if I just show you here you can did you you can make some really cute leaves by just cutting them into twos and threes um, and then mounting so here I actually just use the punch but if you just sit them behind your flower they look just like leaves um, and again this is the bit that's most time consuming um, and you can do it say however you like but um, I just thought I would show you the basics uh, to enable you to get the overall dimensions and then as I say once it's decorated um, you uh, you can literally just close the whole thing up like so and you're left with this uh, shape and all you need to do is take a piece of ribbon so for this one I'm going to use pool party seam binding ribbon and you just thread it through the little hole that's made with the um, the scallop punch do the same with the back of the ribbon which goes round the back and you just feed that through there like so and just pull it through and then just tie ever so simply in a bow on the front There you go and then that holds your card closed um, and as I say you can use them for Mother's Day or you can use them for um, a special birthday card I actually think they're really really great this one I love in the whole gingham garden um, there are so many things that you can do with these but I hope you found that useful and that you've got all those dimensions and I would love to see um, what you make with your um, scallop tag topper uh, concertina cards and um, please do check out my other videos I've made several videos using the scallop tag topper punch I think it's a great and really versatile punch so if you're looking for more inspiration then do check out uh, my other tutorials well that's all for today um, I look forward to seeing you next time for another tutorial from the crafty owl thanks ever so much for watching goodbye <laughs>